Hi beautiful people, so today's day 15 and we are going to make this super cute statement sweatshirt. So I love this. I wanted to do a fun little clothing DIY for the Christmas holiday gift ideas. Super easy to make and I love how it came out. Came out. So that it would be fun to create our own and you can gift it to whomever you choose. So let's get started on how to make it. So here are all my supplies for the cross embellished sweatshirt. And this sweatshirt is inspired by all the graphic sweatshirts and um, embellished other types of embellished sweatshirts that are kind of gracing the runways this last fall. So I just kind of thought it would be fun to do a DIY clothing Christmas idea in case some of you, you know, don't have money to go out buy something very high fashion. And it, like I said, this is inspired by high fashion because some of you guys might be saying a sweatshirt isn't high fashion, but it's trending um, now on the runway with a lot of sweatshirts and so I thought this would be a great idea. So you see my cross is cut out. I've laid it on the sweater. It's not a, it's not glued to the sweater yet. I just wanted to lay everything out and show you guys and then I'll go through each supply. So here I have some studs and these are what I'm going to I'm going to use to just kind of lay them decorate the cross with and I had a bunch of them left over from an old project you can use other types of loose jewels um, that would be actually be kind of cool too if you use just random loose jewels around the outside of the cross and I'm gonna use this jewel it to set my studs onto my sweatshirt I'm gonna use some hot glue fabric glue to put my fabric piece on my sweatshirt this. So I just created my cross fabric piece and it's just from a piece of old fabric that I had lying around my house and the way that I got the cross um, was from a template. So I created a cross template out of a piece of cardboard. I just measured it and decided oh that looks good and then cut it out. So it's really simple. So you can create the same type of template out of a piece of paper. Just make sure you know your dimensions are what you wanted. I want a, a rather large cross because it's going to be like a statement kind of embellished sweatshirt. So I made mine quite large. And you can actually use any fabric. You could use fabric from an old dress you're not using like an old jersey dress or print to dress and cut that out. Um, you could use a pair of old denim jeans and cut out the leg panel and cut out the cross from the leg panel. So use what you have around your home for the cross part. The only thing you would need to go out and buy is a sweatshirt because it's a gift. So, so pointing out one more thing, I'm going to take my magazine and just put it in between. So my all I sweatshirt. did was go ahead and just kind of press um, my iron on um, my piece of fabric here just to make it look nice and pressed looking and then I'm just gonna take my glue gun and just glue the cross onto this shirt so I'm gonna do that right now. I'm just gonna put a little glue on this corner and then press it down with my hot glue. And I have my magazines underneath between the front and the back of the sweatshirt. And then I'm just going to put a bit of hot glue on this side as well. Oops, I'll clean that off. And then just press it down as well. So you guys can tell I'm kind of just making my way up to the side so I have all the, you see the glue. This Julet glue is amazing because it will actually dry clear and I can wash it. So I'm just putting a little dab of glue on here and then just putting my stud on and I'm going, I'm working just nice and slow because I'm not in a rush. So I'm just gonna continue all the way around my cross. I'm gonna keep going. Okay, so I'm getting ready to place my last stud on my sweatshirt and this process only took me about an hour you guys I mean like I said I um, it really didn't take that long I mean it was about an hour but I took my time so I'm gonna let it dry for a few hours and then show you the final okay product. so we're done and here I put like I told you guys I was gonna put some little studs around the neckline which I think give it a really nice great pop detail so I wanted and to then... show you what it looks like on and I think it's really cute right do, do you guys like it? Um, I like the big large cross on it, but like I said, you don't have to do that. You could totally do something like a heart shape with the denim, or you could do, I don't know, any little shape you, you think of. Hopefully you guys will try this on your own. It's super easy. All you need to do is buy a sweatshirt because you can repurpose 
old fabrics that you have laying around your house, like denim or even just like a jersey, any type of old fabric you can think of. And then the stud detailing, if I can get a little closer, if you guys can see that. The studs are flat back studs and I got them um, a while back ago and I'll put a link down so that you guys can see it. So you can just glue them to the sweatshirt rather than use the studs that have the prongs and fiddle with those. So hopefully, I'll show you one more time. I'm trying to stand back so you guys can see. Hopefully you guys like that and think it's cute and something you might want to try for the holidays. See you tomorrow for day 16. Bye. Share the love.